Dan the Wolfman, Catch Jitsu.com, Karate Go Jiu Jitsu today. The essential 15 self defense techniques you need to know. We're doing numbers 6 through 10. I've already filmed 1 through 5. We're going to do 6 through 10 today. Alright? So let's go right into it. I'll do it fast, I'll do it slow, maybe I'll do it fast again at the end. So here it is. These are all the common stuff, the common attacks that you need to know. Okay? So, a big guy gets in your face. Go ahead and give me a shove. Whoa, dude, chill out, man. Chill out, man. What's your problem, dude? Dude, whoa, chill out, man. You need to chill out. You're going to chill out. You need to chill out, dude. I choke him out or I choke him out. Either way, you can do a short choke, a one-handed choke, a rear naked choke. doesn't matter. I walk away. I didn't pay attention. I messed up, so it's kind of like a cut, and he decides to repay the favor. Okay? So right away when someone goes to choke you, I'll show you uh, later. Now, typical attack, most common one guy gives you a shove and punch. Whoa, did you jump, man? Back off, dude, I'm gonna throw. Okay. Oh man, sometimes you get surprised when you're walking to your car tonight. Someone gives you a bear hug, you gotta lower your face. Now he's really mad. Boom! Use the ancient technique of ding ding. Okay? They work really, really well. Anytime someone closes their hands, that means the fight's already on. You never front kick with your back leg, you front kick with your front foot, you make it non telegraphic. We'll go through number six through ten right now. So, number six. If someone just walks at you like this, sometimes it's by a shove, swearing, all that kind of nonsense. So, he's here. I bring my hands up, and I try to de-escalate him, talk him down. If he keeps coming, he's uh, road raging, he's nasty. I do some my circles come inside a little bit. I'm going to spin him around, palm strike, here and here, same time. It wraps right to his neck. Let's show that again. Here. So it has to be same time, not one, two. Here, goes to his neck and look at my arm. Here, rolls his back to break his structure. And I want to lock these four fingers down. So the beginning of it, whoa, dude, chill out. He's coming, bang, time to take care of him. You see this on subways, people that are just crazy or they're drugged out. Sometimes you de-escalate it, you try verbally, you try to be non-violent. But if the situation needs it, you put people to sleep sometimes, or at least take them down and control them. So here, here. Now, sometimes I talk guys and bouncing, I just walk them out of the building. You need to relax, it's time to get out of here. You don't make them fall, you just control them. If you need to, you can do a rear naked stand and chill out, dude. Put them to sleep, tap them out, choke them a little bit more. Or, or you spin them here, okay? Now to take them down, I can palm strike, but my arm's already there, I really don't need it because I'm good at this. But if you forget, you can palm strike, or if he's really big, you can oblique kick the back of the knee. Same time, take him down. Now from here, I can V choke, one arm choke, uh, like a short choke, but it's a V choke. I can go one handed if I need to access radio. Hey, I need backup here, this guy needs a paddy wagon. I get my cuffs, or access weapons, I can go here. Okay, do it to the back of the head, and compress. Okay, or slip in from his shoulder to your shoulder, a rear naked choke, my foot's open, I hide my head, instead of this style for a jiu-jitsu, I hide my head, Japanese jiu-jitsu, old style, and I put my ear and my cheek over it and hide my face under the, here, elbows together, flex him down. The reason for that is he might open his fingers and try to eye gouge me this way, or punches with the other hand, stuff like that. So I want to hide my head, I'm here, I hide my head on, and I tap Okay. okay, so that's number six. Number seven, someone sneaks up on you. Any kind of choke. You can't wait too long. It's not magic if he gets a full rear naked choke and it's some jujitsu black belt on your back. That's not what I'm talking about. We should do some semicircles, get in. I'm trying not to circles. get the. So he comes, I see something notice, and I'm just doing my business. I lift my shoulder. By lifting my shoulder and tucking my chin to defend my neck, it pulls his arm away from me. That gives me space to get out. Even if there's a knife in my artery, it gets it away. So, as soon as I can't wait till my structure is broken, I have to go quickly. 
Okay, if he's got me already, it's too late, man. He might choke you. You can't defend that. Even if I was walking to my car, hopefully you have some awareness. You're not down in your cell phone or dealing with your purse or whatever. Yeah. Something comes around your neck. You lift your shoulder, tuck your chin. From there, I let this elbow go and I slip through with a half moon circle. Okay, I go smack as I'm stepping through. Going smack, face to you, head so. I'm in a knee on chest kind of position. I can give a couple punches and run away. I can armbar there, I can do other stuff, but in self defense, it's probably not the best idea, right? Especially if you're willing to be in attack. If someone shows an armbar, like, that's not the right thing to be doing there. It's an option, but it's probably not the right thing to do. So he comes to my neck. I lift this, I tuck my chin, I lift this shoulder up. I can even go my little teapot here. I step through half moon circle. Smack, pew, ding, 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 run away. Okay? So guys, one more time, really slow. Arm up, chin down, step through half circle. Smack here, now I grab face, under the nose, eyes, whatever I get in reality. But the important part is to tilt this backwards to really take him down. Okay? Now, number Hey, the seven punch. He gives me a shove. He goes to swing, back off, three, back off. I step in and I head an elbow spear. Okay? Ding! It's a goonching. It hit him. It hurt him. But that's not the main point. I'm covered nice and tight. Let's go this way. He goes to swing. I spear him. I got a collar tie. I wrap right away to a plumb clinch where the people start to go bull. I'm pinching him here. Pulling him in. Knee to groin, step, step, knee to groin, step, step, elbow, 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 three, four elbows, he's usually going to fall. Whether I knock him down and out, what's important is forward pressure, forward pressure to make him back up. I want him doing this and I want him to trip, okay? So, one more time, seven punch. Whoa, dude, chill out, man, I don't want any trouble, leave me alone, man. Ah, ah, ah. Elbow, elbow, look at my forward, elbow. And then I'm out of there. Okay, number nine, bear hug. I gotta get my center of gravity low right away. Someone puts you in a bear hug, I step out, and I whip my arms up. It has to be at the same time. Butt also goes out. In reality, not in training, I also try to headbutt all at the same time. Here, see my head caught him a little bit? That's good. My butt's out. I'm in an athletic ready stance. Okay, careful. And now, here, I grab this arm, same half moon behind. I'm in a squatting position, I'm not bent over. That's a mistake people make. Strong spine, strong structure, squatting position, grab your knee, grab the clothing if he has a gi underneath. I usually just grab what I got. In reality, I'm gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna lift and also twist. Lift and twist, whoo! Exhale, lift and twist, he lands where I want him to. Bang, 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 bang. Yes, there's an arm bar there if you want it. And Get out of there. Okay, one more time. Bear hug. Ha! So, leg out, arms up, same time. Butt out, head back, same time. Grab, half move. Strong structure. Grab here, lift and twist. He lands where I want him to, basically. And he's a lot bigger than me. He's 240, I'm like 219 right now. Uh, number 10, anytime someone's like, I'm gonna kick your butt. We're gonna go, let's throw, anything like this. I've already tried de-escalating. In reality, on the street, I've already tried de-escalating. If a guy's in my face and he brings his hands up, or he walks in and he's, he's like, yeah, there's a box, man. We're doing that, okay? Think, oh, oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. That was really hurting. <laughs> you okay? Oh, you okay. So, ancient technique where he's got a cup on, I tapped him at maybe like 30%, 25%. I pulled it so I didn't penetrate deep. He'll cover in about a minute. Shows you growing kicks hurt. If UFC fighters, the toughest guys that I've trained with in the world, I've trained with like 600, 700 probably top fighters, more than anyone else in the world for 21 years. If they get really hurt with a growing kick for up to five minutes needing recovery with a cup on, and a little eye gouge hurts them. Yes, those techniques work. They really work. Now you gotta learn how to fight in all ranges. You can't be some super secret deadly ninja guy 
that doesn't know how to fight in all ranges. You have to know grappling, striking, etc. You have to spar, etc. But they work. So growing hits and high straws. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go through one more time. Can you do it? Six to ten. Six to ten. You gotta cover me. Okay. Whoa, dude, chill out, man. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? Yeah. Chill out, man. You need to chill out. Okay. Okay. So he comes to give me. Whoa! Okay. There's another guy down. He's really mad now. He's gonna give me a shoving punch. Whoa, child, dude! Child, dude, what's the problem? Ew! 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 Okay, so when in doubt, use the ancient technique of groin kick. Okay, the groin kick, guys. I'm using front leg. If I'm square, it could be either leg, but I'm not using back leg. This is not a front kick. It is not, this is Sparta. He will see it coming a mile away, especially if he's done a few felonies before. He's attacked people before. We know to block. Guys do that. We know to block. So it has to be up close underneath his vision line with the front leg. It's just a little lift. It doesn't have to be even that strong. See, 30% is hurting with the groin cup on. Hit between here and here. Even if he crashed in distance, if I hit him up here, it's still going to be very effective. So, anytime someone is in your face, you're like, it's on, homie, and they do this or whatever, right? I don't have to go, okay, let's play MMA in the street now, which is dangerous. He knocks me out, my head hits the concrete, I might die. Same thing. So, fighting on concrete is very dangerous. He goes, fight, bang, I might do that instead and run away. Or, bang, and he falls, whoop, wrap him up in a guillotine, tap him out. Or, whoa, psh, whoop, wrap him up, boom, slap him down, run out of there. Anything like that. I hope you guys liked it. Please thumbs up. This is six through 10. We've done one through five. Next time will be 11 through 15. And that's just the first essential 15 that all people should know. Thank you. Catch you on the flip side.